This is a quick demo of what we can do by embedding collaborative, interactive frog activities with dashboards inside LearnFlow. Uh, this is just showing what we can do without changing any of the code of LearnFlow. Of course, if we wanted a deeper integration with configuration and a baked-in dashboard, this would not add a lot of code. Here I'm just uh, two teachers in uh, in student mode to quickly see how this collaboration works. First we have a graphical organizer. Uh, we can put any kind of background image and we can also have different content types here. I just wanted simple uh, line of text so we can say uh, students should belong maybe here. And you can see that this is live updated <coughs> and teachers should maybe belong here. Um, and so on. So that's um, just one one kind of activity that we have. I'm going to close this, and uh, we have this thing called a brainstorm, uh, where we can have again different kinds of content. So by default, I have the same kind of single idea. So I can say, um, what should we be doing? We should be you know, shopping, studying. Um, but here we can also vote up and down. Again, you see that it's live synchronized. Um, but we can add other kinds of content. So we can add, for example, uh, a spreadsheet. Add this spreadsheet, and this is actually also live. All of these are live updating. So if I go in here and I edit, and I say that the cost went up to 39, we see that uh, it updated here immediately. If I go to edit um, this line, we see that it's updating on the other side. We can insert uh, images. Need to connect the previous one since you went to the bottom of the wall. We can write a longer text and so on. So that's another uh, mode that we have. Then I'll also show some activities we have with dashboards for the teacher. So we have a chat. <coughs> So these students can chat with each other. In this case, we don't know their name, but it would be easy to pass the name when we're uh, loading this activity. Um, but in this case, we have a, a live word cloud for the teacher, which um, updates as uh, students are uh, typing different things. It's not very beautiful right now. But um, we will probably improve it. And just like with the other activities here, we can insert complex things like spreadsheets um, or large text area and so on. Um, finally, uh, this is just a few of the activities we have available, but I thought I'd show a, a video. So here we have the video, and of course it's not uh, difficult to embed the video, but uh, what we can see is that we have a live dashboard of how far in the video the student has uh, come, and we can also um, jump in the video, and we see now that it's uh, paused, and then it jumps ahead. <coughs> And uh, if we pause it for a long time, it gradually changes color and so on. So this could be useful if you had a number of students in the same class who were um, watching an activity. Uh, we can also have a quiz. And uh, as we are, so this is configured with a specific set of questions. <coughs> and the moment that we start answering, we see um, the dashboard live updating.